post a picture of the haircut. Okay, Cisco? Yeah. So, I do that a lot. Yeah, I know. Most people do, right? <laughs> and, and I know a lot of you guys in the service industry do that too. You show before and afters. You'll, you'll show like, oh, I cleaned these windows before. Here's how it looked and here's how it looked after. And that's I built this house. This is how it looked. Yeah, and those are cool. But what you need to do is... show a little bit of personality and say, hey, it's Cisco, I'm cutting hair today at John's office, this is what we cut it, check it out. And then we're gonna show the cut, we're gonna say, this is how it came out, what do you think, John, are you happy with it? I'm gonna say, I've absolutely, as long as I'm happy with it, right? Or I'm gonna say, no, I don't fucking like it, fix it. Even better for the content, okay? Yeah. But that's how it kind of goes. So, so that's what that's what we're gonna have you do, Cisco, for the next thirty days. Is we're gonna have you go ahead and, and just post two posts a day that says, "Hey, I'm at John's office. We're we're cutting his hair. What do you think?" And I'm gonna be like, "Oh, it's dope." As a matter of fact, let's do it right now. We don't have to post it, but let's just make the video. So, as you guys know, you're live over here at Sun Clean's office, Sun Clean's headquarters, also the home of Overcomer Academy. We got Cisco in the house. Let me make sure the shot is right. That's my info right there. Oh, here you go. If you need to find Cisco, this is his uh, social media. Cisco dot bar the barber. Duh the barber. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Okay. So now what me and Cisco are going to do is we're going to just make a quick piece of content. I'm going to sit back in the chair. And if you want Cisco, why don't you just point the camera like at your face with my SunClean logo mm -hmm. in the background so they know like you're at my office or whatever. And, and come up with whatever you want. Just be like, I'm at the office. I'm, I'm at John's headquarters. You know, do you feel comfortable trying something on yeah, your own? Yeah, okay, yeah. give it a shot. Yeah. Give it a shot. Yeah. All right, everybody. This is one of my good clients, John. Um, oh, you're on this side right now? Yeah. Right okay, here, cool. Man. What's up, guys? It's your boy, John. Yeah, I just got my hair cut, man. Cisco did a really good job, so super happy with it. Uh, I'm right here at his office headquarters, you know, Sun Clean. This is his business. Um, Sick. He has me here. I chop them up, you know, all sanitized, all clean. You know, we're doing Creating all this. some content. We're doing all this right now. Um, hit me up, you know, if anything. Um, Cisco the Barber on Instagram, right here with John. It's the guy. So, right here, man. If you guys need a haircut, I'm still right here. There you go, dude. Dude, simple, simple as that. How long was that? Uh, 20 seconds? Yeah. And look, you know what, guys? I want you to know something, too. When you're creating content, it's okay if you don't like it. If you don't like it, go ahead and just make another one real quick. Don't do it more than twice, though, because you're going to psych yourself out. Yeah. You know, the, the more authentic it is, the better. I remember when I first started making content, I would literally, dude, I would, I would record like 10 times, dude. I would go into like a motivational thing. I'm like, okay, so here's the deal. You need to, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then I would, oh, I don't fucking like that. So I delete it and then I do it again. Right. I do it nine times, you know, it's, it's stupid. We're human beings, man. And, and, and sometimes that in confidence thing kind of happens and it sucks. But what Cisco did right now is he made a quick video. It was how long? Oh, well, like 20 seconds. 20 seconds. It's perfect. Okay. Um, and you just saw it live right now. So. Cisco is in the house. We're gonna be exiting the building now. We're gonna get to you soon. I'm gonna show you how digital door. Matter of fact, fuck it, you wanna post it real quick? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, cool. So he's gonna post it right now. His journey's beginning right now. We're gonna see if this thing works uh, over the next 30 days and see if we can get him five high ticket uh, cut clients that are paying him a hundred bucks a haircut. I mean, could you imagine, dude, if you're getting 100 bucks a haircut every time? That'd be great. That'd be awesome. <laughs> oh, I, I get them, you know, randomly every month, but yeah, you know, to have secure, you know, hundred dollar clients, you know, on a weekly basis, that'd be great. Yeah. You know, I got used to starting off. Man, I started hair. I started cutting hair when they were five dollars. <laughs> it's used to doing five bucks. <laughs> yeah, back in 06, uh, 05, 06, haircuts were like five bucks, and I remember when I bumped up. When we went from eight dollars to ten dollars to fifteen dollars, and I thought that was great, you know, fifteen bucks, you know, haircuts. Yeah. You know, this was back in oh oh eight, oh seven, oh eight now, and it just went from there, you know, bumping up haircuts. You know, the better you do your job, you know, the more you can, you know, charge. 
so it just went from there, you know, more experience. And now, you know, up to, you know, $100 haircuts, you know. Minimum 30, you know. Yeah, minimum regular at the shop, you know. Keep the keep the same price flow, you know. Keep on regular coming. And that, you know? cause that's high volume, dude. You know, you yeah. gotta come in all day. Yeah, all day. You know, they're they're there almost every week, so I keep them in a regular price range. You know, thirty to no more than forty five. But if I go to their houses, it is hundred dollars. Um, but yeah, man, if I can get those, that'll be great. You know, hit us up right here. That's what we're gonna do, guys. Is we're gonna we're gonna touch back base with you. We're gonna make a new video thirty days from now. I'm gonna get my hair cut again thirty days from now minimum. And we're gonna document what happened with with the social media. What what did those videos look like? What did those messages look like? And did we get him any high ticket paying clients? Because I believe that this can work. It will work for any service business, any business in general. And we're gonna release this program actually to the service industry first. For so all my service people that are following me, you guys are gonna get it first. Uh, Cisco is going to be my beta test for a different industry, which is in the barber community. And then we're going to launch it to restaurants. We're going to launch it to, to barbers. We're going to launch it to furniture stores. I mean, can you imagine furniture stores right now or buffets and stuff? I mean, like, dude, they're struggling. Like people don't want to go out. They don't want to go there. They don't know what to do. They're scared. They're fearful. In this new day and age, guys, I, I'm telling you something, okay? And, and this is probably the best part of the video where you need to watch it and then we're going to cut it out is virtual is the way to go right now, okay? You have to figure out a way to get on social media, to go virtual, to take your business in that direction because we're in 2020, it's the year of COVID now. We don't know how long this is gonna last. Either way, even if this is the year that COVID lit a fire under your ass so you could start getting $100 clients, it, it, depending on if you're doing $20 clients right now and it's more specialty, and you can get that through the internet by sending messages and creating content. Wouldn't you love to do that? So that's what I'm gonna end it with. Thank you so much, Cisco, for coming out, brother. No, no, thank you, this thing. Thank you. And we'll be seeing you guys soon, and we're gonna give you an update on 30 days, okay? Peace. Oh, fresh haircut. Yeah.